As well as a great range of producers here, and there's some some of the guys I've known for many many years here. Cotswold Gold, I've known him for quite a number of years, and and they're producing this rapeseed oil, which has become really trendy. Another thing that's trendy as well this year is this street food, and it's mainly come from America, to be honest. Um, America, you know, as the as the price of um, particularly in New York, as the price of sort of property starts to increase, a lot of the people who are supplying food really can't get sites. So. The street food culture has now come over to the UK, but over in America it all started where they were buying old postal vans and basically making it outside of New York and then taking it into the centre. Fantastic idea and it really works. Street food for me is anything that is served on the street, so it can be old fashioned things from a burger van to you know the modern Mexican stuff we're seeing a lot more of. Um, and it's literally anything on the street for me. And I think it's a brilliant thing because the food is cheaper, it can be restaurant quality, but it's easier for people like me or for the customer to get access. So I can go onto the street and serve my food, easy, easy, and it's cheaper for me to set up. Or you've got people who's actually cheaper for them to buy restaurant quality food. So I think it's a win-win for everybody. You've seen it at Gloucester here today, there are a lot of independent street food, but also a very, very different array of ones. You've got Mexican, Thai, Oriental, all manner of different th things. And, you know, seeing some of the beef that's been roasted over the charcoal and the wood is fantastic to see.